Hello and welcome to Only the Parts You Need, a GURPS podcast. Uh, today I'm going to have an unscripted episode. I want to show you the various uh, GURPS blogs that they are on the internet. You know, about two or three years ago there was something like a GURPS blogging renaissance where uh, there were so many blogs uh, opened up uh, almost uh, every week, but most of them died uh, like uh, one, two or sometimes three posts in. So not many of them survived. Regardless of that, we still have quite a lot of them. Some are active, some are less active, some are on life support and some are dead but still useful. So I'm going to look at some of them in an alphabetical order. First we have uh, above the flat line. Uh, let's see. I do not remember the blog very well, but as far as I recall there are some monster stat blocks you can find here. For example, let's see goblins. And uh, some other useful stuff. Mm -hmm. Mephits. Well, this is not very easy to navigate. Here you can find spaceships here, uh, sorcery spells even. I like sorcery, you know that. So if you like sorcery as well, you can check out this site. Uh, what's in the free articles? Totem spirits, dungeon action, additional totems. All right. Uh, next up, we have chain link and concrete. I do not like the design of the the actual chain link fence. It's kind of jarring to the eyes. But uh, in terms of GURPS content, this one has uh, basically the conversion of comment and conquer. The Tiberian Dawn. There's a lot of uh, weapons, uh, character templates, equipment, uh, vehicles. So if you are into that sort of stuff, check this out. It's cool. See, Armalite AR18. Who doesn't like guns? Uh, then we have Dark Path and when Wandered Roads. Uh, this is uh, mostly a session report blog uh, for GURPS campaigns in Mistara. That's, uh, I think, a very underused and underrated uh, settings for D&D. Palladium, I am not familiar with that one, and Varicia is a region in the uh, Pathfinder setting, Galarion. So, if you are interested to see how GURPS plays out for uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder games, check this block out. Why not? Uh, then we have DF White Rock. Uh, basically, this is another session report blog. But this one was uh, focused on Castle White Rock Mega Dungeon. Actually, I haven't uh, really expected it. But there's also some uh, conversion notes, uh, reviews, and all that sort of stuff. I think the actual campaign uh, has ended. Then, of course, we have Dungeon Fantastic by Peter Del Orto, who has written quite 
a lot of GURPS books, including co-authoring GURPS martial arts. It's uh, one of my favorite books ever. Uh, he is very well known for his Fell Tower dungeon fantasy campaign. He posts session reports, various rulings on what came up uh, in his games, uh, what uh, could be adjusted. Uh, there's a lot of content here. It's spread out thinly, but uh, uh, it is very useful, especially if you play Dungeon Fantasy or DF RPG. And there's also this thing that I like. Uh, changes to spells from GURPS Magic. For example, Great Haste. You can get a lot of ideas here. Uh, next we have Game Geekery by The Mook, the author of How to be a GURPS GM and I think some other supplements. I'm not sure, but uh, this is an excellent resource for new players. It has combat examples, some cheat sheets, and uh, custom tokens. Mm, I think even one shot adventures. Let's check the download section. E form fillable PDFs. Summary sheets, spreadsheets, and uh, in some podcasts. Hmm. That's a lot of forms. E skills guide, a guide to common GURP skills for new players. That's, that should be very useful for a lot of people. I remember reading the combat examples, they are good. Mm -hmm. Next up we have Gaming Ballistic by Douglas Cole, uh, who is uh, very well known for his uh, technical grappling and uh, Hall of Judgment and Nordlont uh, supplements for Dungeon Fantasy RPG. But uh, what I enjoy the most here is his uh, Gunday posts that are kind of difficult to find nowadays. For example, let's see. There is this post about uh, liquid propellant and the ETC that provides a lot of information. It's very interesting. And uh, the rework of the entire conventional slug thrower gun range from GURPS Ultratech with new statistics and everything. You know, I actually used uh, his stats for guns as a baseline for my gun design program. Uh, also, there's uh, a lot of uh, game mechanical posts, for example, um, what was that? Uh, there's uh, at least two posts about scaling uh, damage resistance with uh, tech level. There's a post uh, about uh, uh, where do shots go if you miss a high rate of fire attack on a certain hit location and uh, other interesting posts like that but they are difficult to find there's also the GURPS day feed that uh, basically gives you the list of blocks next up we have ah, ah yes that's my blog as a uh, you probably know that uh, mostly I have D&D uh, conversions of monsters. I have a lot of sorcery spells. I have uh, 
my own metatronic alchemy system that and I converted all the alchemy from D&D 3.5 to it. I have some other stuff including some Ultratech content and all that. I also have a Patreon account. So I did not put anything behind the paywall in terms of actual content, but uh, the Patreon exclusive content is, uh, for example, spreadsheets of uh, all my sorcery spells, uh, the compilation documents, compilation documents of the monsters, and uh, I updated them regularly. regularly. And uh, nowadays I am working on the GCS library for my sorcery spells. It will also be Patreon exclusive. Now, GURB, the Generic Universal Role-Playing Blog. This is an excellent blog, one of my favorites. Uh, the disheartening thing is that it's... Um, well... The last post was with actual content more than a year ago. Uh, this blog has a lot of Ultratech content. Uh, my favorite ones are that expand the blaster and laser design system. As you can see, they all are red. I visited them. It's uh, well, 10 out of 10. My favorite. Uh, then we have GURPS Shooting Thing for Fun and Profit by Mr. Fix. There's not many posts, but uh, if you are interested in modern TL shooting, that could be interesting to you. For example, there is a firearm customization. There's uh, also a stealth guide, I think. Where is it? I some something about medicine, pneumatic medicine. Yes, a uh, GURPS stealth and camouflage guide. Uh, then we have GURPS hard math, another ultra tech blog. Uh, this one, just like GURB has some expansions for the cluster and laser design system. It also has some spells, some other interesting stuff. And uh, I think uh, this one also has something about high cyclic controlled bursts for ultra tech. Anyway, it's somewhere there. It's a good blog, but it's dead, unfortunately. Uh, then we have a layer of the chaotic GM. I think this person hosts a podcast, but maybe I am wrong. See, there's no. I think I'm uh, confusing this blog with something else. Uh, this one has a lot of uh, posts on uh, conditional injury. I have never played uh, with it, but it seems interesting. Here you can find some templates here. Conditional injury tweaks. That's cool. And we have Let's Gerbs. This uh, block is authored by Pseudonym, who is the author of uh, the GURPS Discord bot. There are some reviews. Uh, the blog is, well, not very active. Uh, aside from the reviews, uh, what posts uh, I find interesting. Uh, where is it? It's probably in the popular ones. Oh yes, for example, Fundamentals. A comparison of melee weapons. This is what I used as the base for my melee weapon episode, but I expanded it a lot. 
Uh, there's also a remember a post about making cursed items in sorcery. There's some good content here. Uh, then we have Nature Kills, a hex scroll for GURPS Dungeon Fantasy. Uh, that's mostly, I think, a session report blog. If you are into that sort of content, check this out, there's a lot of it, see, from 2014. Uh, then we have No School Grognard. I think this blog is dead, but there's still some interesting things on it. For example, low tech armor and fire damage, and uh, there's also an alternative strength system somewhere here. Right? Yes, there is, there is one here. Uh, you know the reduced swing damage one? It's from here. Uh, then we have the No RPG group. That's uh, an interesting blog because it's a bilingual blog. It's uh, every post is written in English and in Portuguese. So if you are from Portugal or Brazil, check this out. Uh, then we have a relatively new blog of cyber and punk. I know the author of the blog, I played a lot of games with him, and I'm sure I'll be able to bully him into writing more, because so far there's only one, two, three posts. But uh, these posts are very good in my opinion, because there is uh, a definite lack of uh, high TL content for GURPS in terms of blogs, and this blog is mostly focused on cyberpunk, and it's kind of popular nowadays, I think. Uh, then we have Ravens and Pennies by Christopher R. Rice, who has written quite a lot for GURPS including GURPS Realm Management, some uh, Dungeon Fantasy titles, and uh, a lot of Pyramid articles. However, almost everything here is behind the paywall. So if you are not a patron, you can only read, I think, uh, summaries and uh, session reports. However, if you look uh, back into the old posts, you can find some goodies. For example, uh, uh, Succubi. Who doesn't like Succubi? Uh, there's a series of posts uh, on some advantages such as Leech, Healing, Enhanced Time Sense, Neutralize. It uh, describes, uh, lists uh, all the enhancements and limitations and provide some useful variants and new modifiers. I like these a lot. I think uh, if you combine them all, see, you can... You also have Illusion, Clear Sentience. Uh, you can basically publish a new Power Ups book. Oh, okay, the link is broken. Nice. Also, I think there is a post about uh, chaining attacks, so it provides guidelines on how to build uh, chain lightnings, for example. So that, these things are very nice. I do not know what kind of content there is on this Patreon, so I cannot really tell you if you should uh, subscribe, but maybe you should. Okay, then we have uh, Rev Place, who is uh, also a GURPS author. He wrote some articles and 
Gerbs, Powers, Totems and Major Spirits, I think. Uh, there are some uh, reviews, some po reference posts, the GURPS skill primer and social materials, how to. Uh, the recent post is uh, on detectives. There's also some politics, but you probably do not want that. Uh, requires concentrate. GURPS sci fi and fantasy role playing. It's a uh, kind of hard to read there are some templates some new uh, disadvantages robot allies but uh, it doesn't seem to be very active then we have rindis.com uh, this blog is interesting but mostly not because of GURPS there are some uh, interesting book reviews here not related to GURPS, and there's some GURPS books reviews as well. Uh, ASL session reports, and there is some GURPS content that is very interesting. Let me find it. I really like this uh, Dungeons and Sorcery well, po uh, post series for the first one. this one this post basically converts a D, D magic into sorcery it is excellent in my opinion take a look at it because uh, I use D, &D 3.5 as my baseline but uh, Rindis here uses AD&D, a system that I haven't played. And it's cool. Very cool. Uh, then we have Roleplay, Roleplay Rescue blog. Ah, this is a blog that has a podcast. There are some templates, previews, and some other things. I haven't even looked uh, too deep into it but the most important thing is that there's a podcast uh, then we have salty grognard a blog with uh, what five posts in 2018 but two of them are blended or these ones first is the new damage type an aging attack I really like it because you know it makes uh, age related uh, traits more relevant such as extended lifespan short lifespan and aging and it provides you a way to age people without uh, using leech there's also another way but it's also convoluted. I really like this one and I use it in my games. And also desperate defenses. I do not know why, but I often see a question. This question. Why doesn't Gerbs let me put my hands or my weapon in front of the enemy and make no attempt to brush it off to the side? And this post provides you rules for that uh, then we have T-Bone's Awesome Games Diner this is a gold mine of GURPS content there's uh, mostly rules there's a lot of rules for GURPS here uh, and some of them were uh, printed in pyramid for example duck uh, grazes, shields and cow shields and size uh, most of them were printed in pyramid I think which one I do not remember but uh, the article was called uh, 10 weeks to combat 
so I will not uh, go over everything here, but uh, there's a lot of content here. Check this out. Uh, then we have Tetsuji no Lama. This is a uh, blog by Matt Rixby, who is an author of several GURPS books. Check it out. Uh, then we have another, I think, that blog, The Collaborative Gamer. This is an excellent resource for solo gamers, people who play without a GM. It is great, even if you are not playing GURPS, if you are playing solo using other systems, you can check this out as well. It uh, should be useful. And then we have three smoking dice. Conditional injury, size, creatures, combat advice, characters, combat advice, characters, and that's it basically. And conditional injury again. And uh, is that all? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I am missing my Lanka's musics, musings. How could I miss that? Uh, Mylanka is probably one of the m most well-known bloggers. Uh, he is notorious for his uh, Psy Wars setting. There is an enormous amount of content for it. And uh, other than that, this, uh, it's presented nicely. You can you have the Psy Wars index. Other than that, you have uh, a lot of, uh, I guess, GURPS meta posts about certain systems, just certain problems that come up in games. For example, I really like his post on uh, flexible magic systems and strengths of weak magic. Uh, you can see Generic Space Opera Bestiary he's been uh, working on. There's a lot of content, including an action vehicular combat system. It's great. He also has a Patreon uh, with even more content. I do not know what is on his Patreon, but uh, I'm sure it's worth your money. So, make sure to check this one out. I recommend it heartily. I probably missed some blogs, but uh, I cannot cover everything. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.